Okay, this is Byron again, and um, I just want to show you the my before and after uh, stretching routine. Okay, so uh, it's important to stretch, you know, um, before and after you work out. So I'll show you my uh, stretching routine now. It only takes a couple minutes. It's quite easy, and uh, here it is. Okay, so I put my legs about uh, a, little, a little bit um, wider than shoulder width usually. And just stretch, stretch your chest. Oh, lift your arms up as high as you can. Uh, fingers together. And stretch back. Try to also stretch your abdomen. Try to stretch your abdomen and the sides. Oh, so. Twenty seconds. Oh. 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 Alright, that's good. Stretch to the side. Stretch to the side. Uh, handles on the side. Stretch to the side, like so, for about twenty seconds. This side, 20 seconds roughly, 15, 20 seconds. Oh, just to stretch the sides here, get those nice and firm. Okay, and I like to get a full body stretch, you know, after, even if I haven't worked that muscle, I like to get a full body stretch each time. Okay, and then usually I'll do this again. Stretch out the uh, chest and the abdomen area. Oh. Maybe for another 12 to 15 seconds, just to make sure that's nice and stretched out. Oh. Okay, there we go. Then I stretch the ugh, backs of the arms. 20 seconds again. All, all of these you can do for about 20 seconds. Just give that a nice good stretch. Not too much. It's just a stretch. It's not a workout, so you don't need to, you know, over overextend it. You can injure yourself that way too if you overextend. Okay, so that's good. And then this one. So it's this one back. So, okay. Then what I do is stretch the, uh, this one, I do this stretch here. Where it's just a stretch and I'm going to over extend. So bring that back, stretch that, give it a nice good stretch, stretch the back, and the, the arms and the arms and the biceps. Nice good stretch there. Okay, and then I can bring it up for. Further stretch, just like this. Just hold that for about 20 seconds. Hold that, hold that, hold that. Hold that, hold that. Stretch can be harder than the workout sometimes when you're finished. Okay, so just get a nice good stretch there. And then uh, grab onto something to, to read, to stretch the back. Grab onto something for it. Just Hold, stretch the back, give it a nice good stretch. Okay, so just 
hold that again. Then, oh, give that a nice little stretch like that. Again, this is, you can do this before and after the workout. Just to make sure you're nice and stretched out before and after. Okay, yeah, that's probably good enough there. And then legs. So bring your bring your toes back a little bit, make sure it's straight. Try to bring your head down to your knees as much as possible. Bring your head down to your knees. Don't strain yourself too much. In about 20 seconds. Oh. And do the other side. Do the other side. Bring your toes back as much as you can. Try to bring your head down to your knee. that for about 20 seconds in. Okay. All right. And then just do the backs. Or excuse me, the fronts, the thighs. So we'll stretch that out again for 20 seconds. This gives you a nice good full body stretch. Even after a hard workout when your muscles are really tight, this really loosens your muscles up so you don't feel so tight anymore. In about 20 seconds. Make sure you're nice and balanced. And the other side. Okay, and that is it. And I've just given myself a nice little uh, full body uh, stretch there. So even after a hard workout, I you know I feel um, I feel nice and loose, and I don't feel. Uh, and hopefully, I will prevent myself from getting injured as well. So uh, that's all there is to it. Uh, any questions? You can leave me a comment, and I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, and uh, tell me how. Tell me if it works out for you. I'd be I'd be really happy to know about it. Thank you. This is Byron signing off.